Hey, what's up guys? True Boxing here. Thanks for coming back to get hit with the truth. I'm doing another video today. This one is the what's next on Otto Wallen following his uh, 10 round unanimous decision or 12 round it might have been over Dominic Brazil to uh, on the Adrian Broner Jovian Santiago Showtime undercard that took place on Saturday, February 20th. Um, before I jump into this, uh, I want to go through, uh, I just want to say, hey, you know, if you like my page, give me a thumbs up. If you don't like it, thumbs down. I'm okay with that. Uh, positive or negative feedback, I like it all. Um, I don't mind anything. I appreciate, you know, anybody uh, taking the time um, with my videos. And if you really like my stuff, just send me a, um, uh, you know, subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. All right, so let's get into it. So Otto Wallen on February 20th took on Dominic Brazil. Now going in, you know, I picked Wallen to win, but um, I think a lot of people were, were, you know, thinking that this could be a 50-50 fight. You know, I, I did too. I know Brazil, you know, he's he's been around the block. Brazil has fought, you know, for titles twice. He's lost to two of the top three heavyweights with Anthony Joshua and and Deontay Wilder. But, you know, he's a guy that doesn't play defense well. He's got a pretty decent skill set. He doesn't play defense well, and I just thought going in against uh, uh, Wallen that it was going to be a tough night for him, and um, you know, but I thought he was going to be in the fight, and to be honest, he was trying, but Wallen was just too good. Wallen just kind of picked him apart, outworked him, outclassed him, and got a pretty much a one-sided decision win and pushes forward. Now, Wallen's broken into my top 10 with that win. That was impressive, you know? And the fact that, that you know, Wallen has fought Tyson Fury in 2019, and there's some people that feel like he won that fight. It was a good, a, a pretty good battle right there. Um, you know, a lot of, there's, there's some people that would argue that um, they didn't want to give him the fight because Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder were, were you know, on the horizon. So that um, well, Fury kind of got a gift decision. So, you know, Wallen now beating Brazil and not losing by much to Fury, to me, that's top 10 worthy. So I'm going to run through the top 10, see what could possibly be next for Otto Wallen, and, and we'll go from there. So the big question, what's next for Otto Wallen? Let's jump through the top 10. Number one would be a rematch with the undefeated WBC champion Tyson Fury. That ain't going to happen. Fury and Joshua are very close to signing their fight. And even if they weren't, I don't think Fury wants anything to do with Wallen. Number two is Anthony Joshua. Again, Joshua's fighting Fury. That's li they're likely signing a two-fight deal, so Wallen is not going to be in line to fight either one of them anytime soon. Number three is Deontay Wilder. Um, I think this one, you never know, could be possible. I think Wilder might go after somebody bigger, maybe less of a threat, but I, I think Wilder is going to be um, looking for somebody decent, and um, he's going to try to sleep somebody in his next fight for sure, but... Um, we just don't know. I don't know if he's going to jump back into a big time opponent next. So we just got to wait and see, but I am looking forward to seeing what, um, what Wilder decides to do. I think it's a somewhat of a possibility considering that Wallen just fought on a PBC card, but, um, I'm not going to, I'm not going to guarantee nothing, but I, I think it'd be possible. I think it'd be somebody, uh, Wilder might say, you know what, I'll take this dude on you know, and see what he does. But I, I don't know if Wilder wants to risk it against somebody as talented as Wallen, uh, Wallen in his next fight. So we'll see. But I do think it's possible. Number four is Andrew Ruiz Jr., the former unified champ. Not, you know, Ruiz is returning in April against Chris Ariola. Um, he is a PBC guy, so I wouldn't completely rule this one out. It depends on how Ruiz looks in that fight against Ariola. I'm sure Ruiz wants to take on a bigger name guy next. But if he gets forced into possibly a title fight or an interim title fight or an eliminator, he might say fuck it and go after um, Otto Wallen. So we just got to wait and see. But, yeah, I think it's possible. Um, not likely, but possible. Number five is Alexander Povetkin. Well, Povetkin's coming off. You know, he's he's got a rematch with um, with uh, Dillian White taking place March 20. I think it's March 27th. Um if he knocks out Dillian White again, I think he's going to be doing something bigger than Otto Wallen. I don't think he's going to want to risk it against somebody like Wallen. So I'm going to say no, that I don't see this fight happening. But you never know in boxing, but I, I don't see it. Number six is the undefeated former uh, undisputed cruiserweight champion, Oleksandr Usyk. Usyk looks like he's going to be lined up against Joe Joyce next for the WBO interim belt. If that's the case... Um, if he's victorious, would he fight a guy like Wallen later in the year? It depends on where the WBO ranked Wallen and if uh, they could set it up. I'm going to lean towards a no. I think Usyk's going to want to face a better 
opponent in the top 10, but I wouldn't completely rule it out. Again, it depends on um, where Wallen gets ranked and if the fight can be made. So we'll see. Okay, Yusuk was number six. Number seven is Luis Ortiz. Here's a fight that I think is really possible. Wallen's the kind of guy who wants to make a name for himself. He wants to prove himself. What better way to prove yourself against the, the boogeyman of the division still? You know, Ortiz, nobody still wants to fight this dude. You know, Wilder, you got to give Wilder a lot of props when you talk about Luis Ortiz because Wilder fucking fought him once, didn't have to. Then he fought him a second time when he didn't have to. So, and he knocked him out both times. But outside of that, nobody wants to fight Luis Ortiz. So, if Wilder really wants to make a name for himself, fight Luis Ortiz. And I think Luis Ortiz would take the fight just to get... Uh, a, a dude in the top 10 against him so i like this matchup right here i think it's very possible number eight is uh is i believe it's dillian white um dillian white former yeah well i mean former interim champion he's fighting um alexander pavekin next if he's victorious over pavekin i think white's probably going to move forward with somebody like deontay wilder I don't because he'll be the interim champion. Wilder's the number one contender. I think they'll probably move forward with a fight of that magnitude, but he's got to get through Pavekin first. To be honest, I don't think I, I'm, I'm going with Pavekin in the rematch, but I really do think White could win. But I just don't think he takes a step back if he does beat um, Pavekin. I don't think he takes a step back and faces a guy like Wallen and takes a risk like that. So I'm not seeing it. Number nine is uh, Joseph Parker. Um, you never know. Parker is a guy who gets widely avoided. Um, if these guys were to fight, like say in a final eliminator, I think it would be possible. So maybe, and then number 10 is Michael Hunter, another guy looking for an opponent, trying to get somebody to, to take him on, um, wouldn't rule it out completely, um, at all, because again, these are two guys trying to make a name for himself. So Wallen, I got him tied for 10th with Michael Hunter. Now, um, he's a good ass fighter out of Wallen is a good ass heavyweight and um, he deserves some respect. I don't think he's going to have a lot of dudes knocking on his door, but I do think if he decides to stay with the PBC, um, maybe Deontay Wilder or Andy Ruiz, I'd probably lean against that. But I think a PBC fighter that would be big would be Luis Ortiz. And if he doesn't stay PBC and he uh, branches out and fights other guys, maybe um, Joseph Parker or Michael Hunter would, would be down to square off against him. So we just got to wait to see. We got to wait to see where the governing bodies rank him next following that win and we'll go from there so that's it hope you guys enjoyed it that's the what's next on auto wallin true boxing you may hit the troop